as we're trying to decide if we're a good fit, uh, you probably need to know a little bit about what conditions um, I really get excited about and what is my passion. So a big part of why I went into medicine was because my mom went through menopause really early, like at 38. And she was not treated very well by the medical establishment. She was basically told that she was crazy and it was all in her head and she was far too young for menopause. That wasn't true. And, and when we think back about the bone loss and all the things that could have been handled so differently, she really was not served well. Um, and so seeing that was a huge driver for me to want to go to medical school and then pursue OBGYN and focus on women's health. I stopped delivering babies really early in my career. Um, I think babies are magic. I think that is an absolute privilege to be a part of the very beginning of someone's life. Um, I also became a mother during that time and could not welcome um, being the kind of parent I wanted to be and practicing obstetrics. So I started focusing on menopause. Doing that for several years and studying with the North American Menopause Society, I felt like I was having questions that North American Menopause Society couldn't answer. I remember very clearly asking at a national meeting, hey, you know, what is this adrenal fatigue that all my patients are talking about? And being really dismissed, saying, well, you know, that doesn't exist and that's not a real thing. And I thought, well, gosh, I, I sort of feel like as a female physician, uh, I felt dismissed, like maybe a lot of my patients were feeling dismissed by their healthcare providers. Um, and that kind of was part of the reason that became my just journey into studying functional medicine and trying to understand maybe a little bit more complicated picture. So my passion is in menopause transition and perimenopause and hormone imbalance. Um, I myself had PCOS uh, as a young person. Um, it wasn't really offered a whole lot of other options, you know, kind of birth controls, metformin, spironolactone, that was it. Um, and I don't think there was enough really offered at that time in terms of, hey, what can we do with diet? Hey, can we get a continuous glucose monitor? Um, can we look at insulin resistance more deliberately? So there's a, there's a whole lot we can do for those conditions. So if you're trying to figure out if you're a good match for me, um, I am really focused on women's hormonal health, particularly at the menopause, perimenopause transition. Um, I'm also work with a lot of PCOS patients. Um, I do a lot of gut work in terms of um, imbalances in the gut microbiome and work with a lot of women who have autoimmune thyroid condition. One other resource that I'd like to make available to you um, is actually on our Teachable site. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you and show this because I think it would be a really nice way if you're not sure if we're a good match to really get a sense of kind of what I'm like to work with um, and you can hear some lectures that we've given to the community. So this is our Teachable site and this is how we share open office hours which we record each week with members and there's some free resources available here. So if you go to hormonewellnessmdacademy.teachable.com and you scroll down in the middle here, there's this educational information which you can click on and it's free. We just ask for your contact information. And then you can see there's a whole list of free lectures here. So um, for instance, if you've got concerns about gut health or you're not really sure why holistic medicine and functional medicine is so obsessed with the gut, this is a really great lecture to watch. Um, it's called Gut Health and Hormonal Health is a quick little blurb. There's also a review of a GI map test. And then there's the Gut Health series intro, which really ties it all together. We also have a video on timed eating and fasting. We use a lot of timed eating in my practice. And here's a lecture on bioidentical hormone replacement therapy and breast cancer, which I would highly recommend. The rest of the lectures are guest lectures. So whenever we invite someone from our community in to share their expertise with our community, we post that publicly so that everybody can take advantage of it. And a couple that you might want to uh, take a look at, um, there's one from Dr. Portella on EMDR, um, thinking about trauma, and um, also from Dr. Daniela Perone, um, trauma, healing trauma beyond talk therapy. We've had two great lectures from Dr. Hooten, who's a dermatologist, about collagen, and then about hair loss down here. 
Um, and so these are a, just a lot of great resources to take a look at. So the ones at the bottom are ones that I've done. The ones higher up are folks that are um, in our community and you'll hear me interviewing them. And I think it can give you a really great sense of if we're a good fit. Thanks so much.